And the big night has arrived. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time here. It is Spartak Moscow up against Napoli. Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. starting 11 well it looks like they're going to play in a 3-4-3 formation but without wing backs so although they might have an overload in midfield they will be vulnerable to any switches of play by the opposition The Napoli starting 11. David Ospina begins in goal. Lorenzo Insigne starts with Matteo Politano in the wide areas. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. It is to be a throw-in. Not the best challenge, free kick. Well, we all know what a tremendously talented player Lorenzo Insigne is. What can we expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Jordan Larson. They might be able to get in now. Oh, yes! First to score in this final, and it could be highly significant. Well, here's another look, and you can see what a good finish this is. He holds off the defender brilliantly and keeps his composure. That's a great goal. And Napoli get them all moving again. How will they react? Zielinski. Now Napoli in a position of menace. Fabian, and he takes it on, oh, fantastic reflex action. Corner kick played in. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. He'll take this on. The save was a good one. And now the delivery. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. Ayrton. And he's beaten him here. Chance to cross. Moses. 
It's opening up for them. And still looking for space. Well, following the clearance, it will be a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger is averted. Promise. Larson. Promise. Chance to play it in. Teammate in support. And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, let's have another look at this, because he does really well to pick the right pass here. And the finish is really good. Low and hard beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal all round. So, 2-0 now. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. It's with Onguisa. Fabian. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, good-looking run. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really good bit of play. Watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish. That's a top-class goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Zobni. Ayrton. A oh, wonderful bit of skill. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Can they take advantage of the situation? And the counter-attack came to nothing. Insigne. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. And able to get a body in the way. That is that. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Mario Rui. Fabian. Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Effective challenge. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Alexander Sobolev. And promise. Can they create something from here? So Bolev. Promise. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Onguisa. Onguisa. It's a good looking ball in behind. It could be up for grabs. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. So, underway again at 2 all. Alexander Sobolev. Now with promise. Sobolev. Jordan Larson. 
And possibilities here. There's plenty of know-how in the ball shielding department. Zielinski. Oh, a goal to give them the lead. And look at the celebrations. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Just 20 minutes remaining now. Can he convert? Putting his body on the line. Oh, could be. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Zobnin. Ayrton. And showing fine vision. And it's still on. Useful ball to the near post. Well, not so fast. The referee says penalty. And maybe a late glimmer of hope for them. Well, he's also showing him the yellow. And a goal! He was composure personified. And he's done his job from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Well, how about this? 4-3. Elmas. Oh, close to full time here, not quite. Napoli with a little bit of work to do, but they're almost there. Well, what a game this has been. Some of their attacking play has been absolutely brilliant. And there's been some great individual performances as well. But they've been far too open to the counter-attack. And that's why they're still clinging on here. Kofrie. Hendricks has it. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. Giving it a try. And a body in the way. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final.